Welcome to Leafs Insider. I'm here with Mike Trakos, National Hockey Columnist for Post Media Network. Mike, we're a quarter way through the season. The Leafs are tearing it up. Austin Matthews is home playing Fortnite on the Xbox. <laughs> And William Nylander is back in Sweden eating those IKEA meatballs. So is this the year for the Leafs? Yeah, start planning the parade, Mark. You know, in all seriousness, this is a really good sign. The fact that Austin Matthews is not in the lineup, William Nylander is not in the lineup, and this team is tearing it up. I think as of Thursday, they had the second best record in the Eastern Conference standings, one of the best records on the road. They're getting it done in all ways. Let's start with Mitch Marner who is top five in scoring. John Tavares carrying his load. Morgan Riley looking like he's a Norris Trophy candidate. Frederick Anderson up for the Vezina. I could go on and on in terms of the positives, but you know what? Quarter way through the season, if you're Mike Babcock, there's a lot of reasons to be happy right now. Okay, a lot of reasons to be happy, but are there any signs to worry about anything? If you're gonna be worried, it's the defense again, Mark, okay? Against Carolina, this team got shelled in terms of shots, and it's an ongoing problem. You take away Frederick Anderson from the equation, and this team could be piling up the losses. So, you know, if Nylander's not gonna sign, I think that's still a trade option in terms of getting that defenseman back, someone that could help Morgan Riley and company, and shore up the back end. Okay, so is this the Leafs team that we all sort of have been dreaming about for the last 10, 15 years? I mean. It's been a bit of a hard time for Leafs fans over the last decade. You know, with all the hype from the summer after signing John Tavares, this team could have went either two ways. They could have really succumbed to that hype and pressure and fallen down, but they're taking it the other way. And this is the most exciting team that I've ever had the pleasure of watching, and I think this is the most competitive team. I'm not saying it's a Stanley Cup team right now because it hasn't shown it in the playoffs, and I think that is a test, especially with how many young guys they have. But if you're gonna rank the top five contenders right now, the Toronto Maple Leafs have to be at the top or at least in the number two or three spot. Okay, cool. Let us know what you think down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.